Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a 2021 Panini Prism Football Break. No huddle edition, five box, random team number one. And, yep, this is a bounty break. A bounty under break. So check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll explain it shortly. Big thanks to this group. Thanks for signing out. No fillers. We did this straight up. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a four. Nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We got Michael down to Greg. And then five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And ninth and final time. We got Steelers down to Bills. Now feel free to trade if you like. Remember, this is 2021 edition. All right, Michael with the Steelers, Dayton with my Raiders, Scott with the Commanders, Michael with the Cardinals, Chris with the Eagles, Joe with the Texans, Jordan with the Chargers, Victor with the Browns, Brian with the Rams, Robert with the Titans, Matthew with the Cowboys, Dayton with the Falcons, Jose with the Bears, Mike with the Colts, Craig with the Patriots, Dayton with the Vikings, Chris with the Giants, David with the Bengals, Anthony with the Saints, Robert with the Jets, Simon with the Lions, Jordan with the Buccaneers, Michael with the Jaguars, Greg with the Panthers, Nancy with the uh, Broncos, Brian with the Seahawks, Harry with the Dolphins, Robert with the Packers, Barry with the Ravens. Got to watch it. Got to watch Barry. Uh, dropped last night, I think. I think they dropped two episodes. You're a Barry fan. Michael with the Niners, Greg with the Chiefs, and Buffalo Bills. Trade window is open. So feel free to trade if you'd like, but trade at your own risk. So we're going to pause the video when we come back. We'll see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. While people are trading, let me just show you the bounty serial numbers we're looking for there. We're going to pop open this fresh case. Sort of an awkward size here, but we're gonna pop open this case. And we're gonna see which five boxes we're gonna do. Let's see if I can get this on the table. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, there's four stacks of five. All right, Joe. See you, Oliver. Ooh, nice, yeah. All right, we got one, two, three, four on the dice roll. If I roll a five or a six, we'll roll again. Four, one, two, three, four. So far right column here, and we'll save these other boxes for another time. All right, so those are the boxes we're gonna do right here. We're gonna pause the video again, and when we come back, we'll see if there, again, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have that five box break. BRB. All right, hey, welcome back, folks. A deal was done. Bills for Eagles. Chris and Greg working out the deal. Chris, you are out of the Eagles spot and into the Buffalo spot. Buffalo! Greg, you're out of the Buffalo spot and into the Fly Eagles Fly spot. Let's print and rip. And there are the five boxes there. These are the bounties that we're looking for. Exactly those numbers. Got basketball playoffs on in the background. We'll be switching between that and some hockey. 
throughout the evening and hopefully a lot of breaks throughout the evening too. I think it's going to be a nice two screen day. Thanks everybody. All right, that's what we're looking for here. the no huddle print that they have right on top there too. It's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Brooklyn and Phoenix are or Phoenix. Brooklyn and Philly are tied. 25 apiece early in the second quarter. Sixers leading the series by one. Brooklyn looking to steal one. Is this a uh, is this 2-3-2? Two, two? Basketball's 2-3. At least this round is 2-3-2. Two, two. And then is it the finals that change? Is the finals 2-2-1-1-1? Two, two, one, one, one? Something like that. On the football side of things, Eagles and Jalen Hurts being the highest paid player in NFL history. A $255 million deal and guaranteeing about $179 million. Hertz's deal is the biggest contract in terms of average annual value in NFL history. Deshaun Watson's 230 contract signed last year with the Cleveland Browns, which is fully guaranteed, still is the biggest in terms of guaranteed money. Hertz extension includes a no trade clause, a first in Eagles history, a source told Schefter. Hertz's salary cap number for next season, 6.15 million, 2023, 13, and 24, 21 point something in 2025, and over $31 million in 2026. That's their guy. All right, let's see who we can find in here. We've got an Anthony Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you going to Victor. Cleveland, this is for you. And that's the no huddle parallel in there. Disco, bubbles, whatever you want to call it. Derek Henry. And then we've got T.Y. Hilton Red, 33 out of 50 for the Blue Horseshoes. That'll be for Mike. What's the ship situation here? All card ship? Nice. It's good to see all card ship. There's Brilliance, Christian McCaffrey. Got a T. Higgins height. We got a TJ Husmanzada, 46 out of 79. Cincinnati, David M. And there's a Davis Mills, 44 out of 50. Got a, uh, that's Brian Dawkins back there. Got a Mac Jones rookie card. Got a Kyler Murray, two out of 35. That'll be for Arizona, Michael with the Cardinals. And Mac Jones with Craig and the Patriots. Let's just keep this on that side over here. And another parallel on the bottom. Got Justin Herbert. Jacobs and Leonard Floyd, 50 out of 79. It'll be for the Rams, that'll be for Brian.
Another box. Jason's asking, what was everyone's thoughts when Washington and Snyder picked Commanders for their new name? Kind of like, <laughs> like, eh. I think that that's what. It's not. I don't think it's as bad as everyone said. It's not good though. What were the? I, I forget what some of the. I get what some of the other. Uh, what the other options were. Do we remember what the other options were? Uh, I liked Warthogs too. I think it goes back to weren't weren't wasn't there old like famous offensive lion like the Hogs or Warthogs or something like that? I feel like they should have dug into leaned into those kind of roots. Are they changing the name again after the sale? I don't know. I suppose it would be the new owners. Prerogative, right? That they can if they want to. There's Killin' Hill, Green Bay, Robert and the Packers. I mean, the, the new owners own the team. I wonder. We got Quiddy Pay to 79. Randy Moss to 50. Randy Moss going to Dayton and the Vikings. Quiddy Pay will go to the Colts and it'll be for Mike. Trey Lance rookie. Although I think, are they committed to Brock Purdy as their QB1? I feel like I saw something like that, so maybe... I don't know. Let's see what happens there in the QB situation in San Francisco. There's Drew Brees for Anthony and the Saints. That's to 79. Justin Fields. Nice uh, nice little purple parallel here for the Bears. That's going to go to Jose. 26 out of 35. Nice rookie Justin Fields. There's a Trey Lance. No huddle pattern. For the Niners, that'll be for Michael. Antonio Gates, 9 out of 35. Did you know Antonio Gates used to play basketball? If you play a drinking game with that, then every time you see a uh, football broadcast back in the day, if you played a drinking game, you might get alcohol poisoned by the end of the game. Every time you heard that. So Jalen Hurts making a lot of money. So yeah, so the so it was Josh Harris and his group. I guess Josh Harris also owns the New Jersey Devils. So him and his ownership group got the Commanders. I mean, what a gigantic deal as well. Just a shade over six billion dollars. So, after all the controversy, 
Dan Snyder is going to pocket a boatload of money. I guess a Canadian billionaire is going to have to come in as well. Maybe, I don't know, there'll be an ownership group or something like that. But and The earliest Harris could be voted in as the owner would be in late May, the owner's meeting in Minneapolis. And I guess, I think the stadium was in in the deal as well, something like that. And they're looking to, I mean, this could be some big changes for commanders. I don't know how many commanders fans are listening right now, but it could be some big changes for them. New ownership, different corporate culture, new stadium. That'd be exciting. Oh, yeah, and this guy also owns the Sixers as well. Yeah, it looks like he's turned both of those organizations kind of around, so we'll see. All right, according to this ESPN article, Sixers, who after six consecutive losing campaigns have been one of the top teams since his ownership, the Devils, after some lean years, has the second best regular season record in the Eastern Conference this hockey season. They got to figure out coach, general manager. I control F name in this article and it doesn't look like there's any reference to a potential name change. It's Chuba Hubbard. I really should start on that side and the autos are popping early here. Chuba Hubbard, Carolina, Greg, and the Panthers. There's Amir Smith Marset to 79. And a Barry Sanders to 15. Nice low number there. And that'll be for Simon in the Lions. Marset, or Smith Marset, will go to Dayton and the Vikings. That was Ezekiel Elliott in the no huddle design. Where does he end up? Here's Damian Harris to 50. Craig with the Patriots. Is there actually going to be a quarterback battle with Kyle Trask? What happens if Kyle Trask wins? The job over Baker Mayfield. What does that do to Baker Mayfield? Here's Alan Lazard to 79. Kyle Track goes to Jordan. Alan will go to Robert Packers. Jason's thinking Houston as a landing spot for Ezekiel Elliott. Chuba Hubbard and a firework, Saquon Barkley. And a Tyree kill to 50. Brooklyn Nets have opened up a little bit of a lead on the Sixers, 40 to 32. 538 left in the first half. Well, there's one of their NFL headlines are here. I guess we're just kind of leading up to the draft here. Mahomes says he's still recovering, still rehabbing that ankle injury. 
Giants not fretting the absence of Barkley and Lawrence in their voluntary camps. Defensive tackle Williams starts skip start of the Jets' program. Texans GM Casario denies he's leaving after the draft. Stafford, now at full health, says he's refreshed. I wonder if he says the famous, I always love the, in the best shape of my career. Dolphins signed former cards receiver Anderson. McCoy, six-time Pro Bowler with Bucks, retires. It's Gerald McCoy. Anyone expecting any fireworks in the draft? That's not this Thursday, but the next Thursday, day one of the draft. Right? 27. I think I have it on my sports bulletin board here to my... Yeah, draft's Thursday the 27th. All right, autographs on this side. Miss Dwayne Eskridge. Seattle, Brian with the Seahawks. I'm trying to add a little suspense with the auto, but I keep forgetting. There's CD Lamb to 79 for the boys, Matthew. Trevor Lawrence just yet. Yeah, this is going to go to the Jaguars. Michael with the Jags. Here's a uh, Mac Jones rookie card for the Patriots. That'll be for Craig. You got a Hunter Renfro to 35. Ah, my hope is that Kyle is find a Schultz. Maybe a Wilton uh, replacement. I feel like the tight end class, allegedly, I don't follow college football too closely, but apparently the tight end class is pretty deep. So there, there's, there's some opportunities out there. That Hunter Renfro is going to go to Dayton in my Raiders. There's been some rumblings and rumors that Hunter Renfro might be on the way out. And there's a Trevor Lawrence. The no huddle parallel. Nice. Michael. I like Hunter Renfro. I don't know why they'd move on from Hunter Renfro, but. Ernst Jones for Brian and the Rams. That's to 50. A.J. Brown, 79 for the Titans. Robert. And there's Devin Bush, 250, 4 out of 50. I like Walter Football as uh, .com as sort of an alternate mock drafting sort of site. I mean, is it C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young one and two? Is that the consensus? Will the Colts take a quarterback? Walter Football previously had Will Levis with the Colts, but he's changed that pick to Will Anderson. Is there going to, will the Cardinals trade that pick? The number three pick? That, there's been some rumblings about that. I like how he's got picked for my Raiders. 
Paris Johnson, the offensive tackle slash guard from Ohio State. The Raiders' offensive line wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but they still need some depth and some improvement there for sure. I, mean, I think they were okay in the running game. They obviously helped Josh Jacobs rush for a zillion yards, but I think maybe in pass protection was a little weak, but if they can shore that up with a draft pick or two, maybe maybe some depth veteran guys of free agency, create a nice little rotation, I think that would be awesome. Or de they definitely need help on defense. I wouldn't mind if they went all defense in this entire draft. Some mock drafts had, him taking, had uh, them taking the cornerback out of Oregon, Christian Gonzalez, I think. Be a big start. All right. We got Noah Gray for the Niners. Michael with the Niners. Last spot mojo. 49ers. 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. There's a Kyle Trask to 79. There's a Trey Lance. There's a Kurt Warner to 35 for Michael and the Cardinals. Michael also gets, same Michael gets the Trey Lance, and Jordan gets the Buccaneers. Gets the Kyle Trask. There's Josh Jacobs to 79 on a franchise tag. I don't think he's signed at the moment. I think they're still trying to work out a uh, Pat Farmuth. Muth. And your offensive rookie of the year, Jamar Chase. That'll be for David in Cincinnati. The Pat Farmuth 15. Nice low number on that one going to Michael and the Steelers. The Josh Jacobs goes to Dayton. I think they're trying to still work out an extension. We got a Jared Cook out of five. That's a train whistle number, folks, out of five and under. And that is Chargers edition, and that is for Jordan. Jordan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-hoo. Last one here is Zeke. Zeke Elliott, 20 out of 35 for Matthew and Dallas. There you go, gang. That was a five-box break of Prism Football, no huddle, which we saw more of like Trevor Lawrence, but hey, we gave it a shot. Got Justin Fields in there, too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.